So Terry Whitaker putting on the finishing touches. Earlier today, Dick Landis spoke with both Terry Whitaker and Louis Lamelli about tonight's main event. Louis Lamelli steps in with Terry Whitaker tonight. Lamelli's only loss came to another Whitaker, Purnell, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. Louis hopes that the name Whitaker does not come back to haunt him tonight because he likes to stay busy, successful, and working his way toward a junior welterweight title shot. The world-rated Lomelli is also busy in the ring. In a February bout against a stubborn workman like Courtney Hooper, Lomelli went the 10-round distance, hustling all the way to gain the decision. In August, against Edwin Curette, Lomelli unloaded his arsenal of punches. He pressed the fight, working Curette's body and head. If Lomelli has a flaw, it is his defense. He does get countered. Lomelli went the distance with Curette, gaining the 10-round decision. He is a man on a mission. But where does he fit into the junior welterweight picture? It's a tough division. But hey, I, I work hard for myself. I'm not tough. I'm tough. And I want to become a world champion. Um, so if, after, if I, after I get done with Whitaker tonight, I'm going to get uh, my title shot against uh, the winner of Loretto Garza or Vanny Paciencia. In fact, they're talking about Hector Camacho. Uh, I think I'll prefer to fight the winner of Paciencia and uh, Garza because them two guys, you know, I think they brawl more. They don't run as much. And uh, that'll be a great fight, me being the winner of whichever one I fight. And uh, Camacho runs a lot. I like to be in a good fight all the time. Uh, I came here to win. And I feel that uh, Lameda is in trouble. I feel that this is my show and uh, this is my time to prove to the world that Terry Whitaker still exists. And he's not dead, he still exists. And I feel that uh, Lameda is in trouble, danger. And I feel that he violated. I feel like he trespassed, and I feel like this is my time uh, uh, to prove to everybody that uh, I'm here, I'm here, and uh, the matter have a lot to lose. And uh, I feel that uh, I'm in the best shape that I've ever been. And the matter got to fall in full, That's for sure. Terry Whitaker could be a stepping stone, but there's one rule in boxing that you want to keep in mind. Anything can happen and usually does. And unless Lumelli is looking ahead, he should be busy, successful, and working his way toward a title shot. This is Dick Landis for Sports Channel America's Pro Boxing Tour. All right, thank you very much, Dick. And there is Louis Lamelli from Illinois, 24 years of age, born in Mexico, ranked number one by the IBF in the junior welterweight division, 28 and one, with 20 knockouts. Louis Lamelli against Terry Whitaker. Our main event of the evening is Sports Screen presents the Pro Boxing Tour. On this is Sports Channel America's Pro Boxing Tour, brought to you by Sports Screen. Bob Papa, along with Dave Bontempo. Terry Whitaker is already in the ring doing his dance, and now Louis Lamelli has entered the ring as well. Lamelli ranked number one by the IBF in the junior welterweight division. And this is our main event of the evening. This is Whitaker's first appearance in Atlantic City. There is Lamelli, 2-0 in Atlantic City with one knockout. And Lamelli trying to close in. It was in Atlantic City. He gained a very significant victory over Courtney Hooper this year. He outboxed him and showed a lot of poise against a fighter who was very high up in the ratings at that time. Here's a look at the judges for tonight's main event. Once again, Gene Williams, eight years of experience from Atlantic City. John Riley from Mountainside, New Jersey. And Richard Strange from Bricktown, New Jersey. Ten years of experience, lots of experience in the judges' chair for the main event. And here is the tail of the tape. Louis Lamelli, an inch and a half taller at 5'8 to 5'6 and a half. He is three pounds heavier. The reach is even at 72 inches of each. And Whitaker, 30 years of age, Lamelli at 24. Those are the critical numbers for tonight's main event. And right now, standing by is our ring announcer for the introductions. Here's Ed Darian. Sports Cream presents Pro Boxing Tour's main event on Sports Channel America. Live from Caesars Atlantic City. And is approved by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. The Honorable Larry Hazard Sr. Commissioner. In the ring at this time, the man in charge at the scheduled 10-round junior welterweight bout, referee Bob Palmer. 
And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the solid black trunks. He weighed in at an even 139 pounds. This gentleman has 21 wins, six losses, one draw, with 10 knockouts. All the way from Greenville, Mississippi. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to Caesars Atlantic City, Terry Whitaker. Whitaker. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the white lettering. He weighed in at an even 142 pounds. Now this young man has 28 wins, one loss with 20 knockouts. He is a native of Jalisco, Mexico, and now residing in Hillside, Illinois. He is the current Illinois State Lightweight Champion. From Hillside, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome lethal Louis Romelli. Romelli. You guys already got your pre-fight instructions? You got any further questions? Listen to me at all times, touch them up, keep it clean. Good luck. And we are set for boxing action. Louis Lavelli against Terry Whitaker. And there's one thing we should point out, Dave, in our pro boxing tour report. We mentioned Julio Cesar Chavez to fight on the 22nd. That fight has been postponed. It's absolutely out, not probably, as Chavez's uh, fight was not strong enough to stand on its own, and he'll be fighting later. That was part of the Mike Tyson card. We begin round number one, and as always is the case here on Sports Channel America's Pro Boxing Tour, not a week goes by where we have at least one fight with the fighters wearing the same colored trunks. Both fighters in black, Louis Lamelli with the lettering on his, his name across the waistband. And Lamelli landed a right hand that got Whitaker's attention. Whitaker's been pumped up and he's very emotional, but he could also get caught. Whitaker did a lot, and I mean a lot of talking at the weigh-in today. If you can back it up with ring skills, it's an entertaining kind of a shtick, and people could get into it. However, when you haven't had a knockout in many years, not the time to predict. Well, Whitaker on his bicycle here to start things off, and the other question is, does he have enough gas to go? Ten rounds. Fought on July 5th in Mississippi. Eight-round decision over Carl Fee. He's had a few repeat opponents. Joe Manley twice in 1984. Chad Broussard twice in 1990 and 1989. Not good in double headers. He lost all of them. Swept. And that left hook by Lamelli hurt with a... It's hard when you haven't been doing the right things for five years to erase that in one fight. And that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get the number one ranking overnight. Well, Whitaker had potential and looked like a prospect early in his career, and then from 1984 until 1989, he did not fight. Well, a lot of personal problems, and he did not take care of his body in that interim. And now at 30 years of age, it's tough to regroup, and he's going against Lamelli, who is sharp. It's not just losing five years, either. It's losing five of your prime years. Lamelli will get hit. It's just a matter of if Whitaker can do anything to hurt him. That's what Whitaker's people saw in taking this fight and, and watching the tapes against Edwin Corrette and Lamelli. They thought that they could get this into a trading contest eventually. So Lamelli's boxing idols, Alexis Arguello and Salvador Sanchez. 23 seconds to go in round number one. It's scheduled for 10 in the junior welterweight division. Louis Lamelli against Terry Whitaker. We now pause for a regional break. How much time does Terry Whitaker have? We'll find out after this time out on Sports Channel. Back in Atlantic City, we start round number two of the scheduled 10 round junior welterweight bout. Louis Lamelli. The black trunks with his name across the waistband of the white socks. Terry Whitaker in the solid black. And Lamelli's corner, very patient in between rounds. He said, take your time, the right hand will be there. And I think you're going to see him gradually start to heat it up in the first round with Whitaker circling the ring. Lamelli didn't want to gamble. He wanted to see what Whitaker had. 
and I think his confidence is coming on. He's going to start firing more potent shots here. Well, he's kind of laughing at Whitaker. And he was amused by the predictions this morning, too. Some fighters might get offended by it. He was amused. Not one of those punches landed. And there Whitaker. is that right hand open, and he didn't let it go there. Whitaker said this would be like Ali Frazier, the thriller in Manila. Lavelli said it's going to be more like Foreman Frazier, me being Foreman. And of course, Frazier went down six times in that fight. Lamelli cannot miss with that right hand if he wants to stay in this position here. The left hand of Whitaker is down. He's not jabbing to keep Lamelli away, and he's leaning in such a way that he's actually opening his face up toward Lamelli. Midway point of round two. Melly was a business advertising and commercial art shoot in college, gave it up to really pursue boxing full time. And since his loss to Pernell Whitaker, he's won four in a row. And he's looked pretty good in doing so. And the loss to Pernell Whitaker was good for Lamelli because it showed him exactly the distance he had to go to to get to the top. And it looks like he is pounding away at Terry Whitaker. And down he goes. Big left hand by Lamelli. Well, he'd been getting him with the right hand, and the, he could hit him with everything. That's it, referee. Robert Palmer stops it. And Louis Lamelli with a second-round knockout over Terry Whitaker. The outcome never in doubt, and that was some left hand by Lamelli. Some left hand by Lamelli, an excellent punch. He kept going after Whitaker, and uh, for Whitaker, not a good performance at all. And he appeared capable of beating that count and may have actually beaten it, but he gave such a look to referee Bob Palmer that he was for he immediately called it off even if he did beat the count. Well, he is sitting in the wrong corner right now, is Whitaker. He was really pounded around. Really, he was way above his class as far as a fighter is concerned. Let's take a look at how the end of round number two unfolded. And there are no shortcuts to the number one ranking. Lamelli missing over the top here. Still has Whitaker back then. There's a left hook, a couple of them there. Whitaker, no experience in tying his opponents up here. There's the right hand, really catches him flush, and he's catching shots here. And there's the big one, and Lamelli turns into that one. He got most of his body behind it. Whitaker goes down and struggled up, but not to the liking of referee Bob Palmer. Well, Louis Lamelli. Backhand strong says he'd like to fight every two months, and let's take a look at it again. And this was kind of a step down in class for Louis Lamelli. He's been fighting tougher opponents, and Terry Whitaker just goes down like a lump of bricks. No defensive skills whatsoever by Whitaker. No concept of what to do in this situation. Really belying the experience his record would indicate that he has. His frame of mind did not appear focused uh, throughout the day also. Talking to people as he came in the ring today, uh, he just looked like somebody was not done the work to get to where Lamelli is. I'll tell you one thing, though, about Terry Whitaker. The best dressed man at weigh-ins. He wore a suit and tie. But he goes out here in round number two as Lamelli just peppered him. We asked him if he was a promoter the way he was dressed, and he laughed. And it might be a good thing for him to pursue something other than this. He's got to do more work to get to the number one spot. So Louis Lamelli scores the knockout in round number two. There is Terry Whitaker, 30 years of age. His record now falls to 21-7-1. There's Louis Lamelli, the winner, here at the official time of the knockout. Our ring announcer, Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, from Caesars Atlantic City, referee Bob Palmer stops this bout at 2 minutes and 11 seconds of the second round, and a winner by a TKO, lethal Louis Lomelli.
No money. So he did beat the count barely as it appeared he did. And referee Robert Palmer said, no way, it cannot continue. So Louis Lamelli comes up with the victory as he knocks out Terry Whitaker in round number two. We'll hear from the number one ranked contender by the IBF of the junior welterweight division, Louis Lamelli, after this timeout on Caesars in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Sports Channel America's Pro Boxing Tour rolls along. Bob Papa along with Dave Bontempo. Glad you can join us. Louis Lamelli. Ranked number one by the IBF in the junior welterweight decision. A second round knockout over Terry Whitaker, and he's standing by with Dave Von Tempo. Dave? Louis, what adjustments did you make from the first to the second round? Well, after the first round, I knew the guy was going to start running, you know. I mean, the guy had a monkey for a little fight, could tell him that he was going to knock me out and this and that. Uh, so I figured the guy's going to brawl. That's what I was ready for. But then the first round, he started running, so that's. I was a little confused then. But did you feel then that you could walk through him based on that? Yes, I felt uh, I felt too strong for him. You know, I knew that he had nothing to hurt me with. And uh, hey, Lomelli came back again. <laughs> you were looking for the right hand, and then it became the left hook as the finishing blow here. Yes, in the first one, I, I, I connected him with a left hook, with a short left hook, and I stunned him. So I, I then I started uh, knowing that hey, probably it's the left hand is the one that's going to do the jab. And then uh, at the second round, it's the left hand is the one that caught him. Well, it looked like we're, we're going to take a look at this, and it looks like you get your entire body into this one, the, the, the big turn here. Yeah, you see, I, I threw a right hand, I remember, and I missed him with it, and I just switched the whole body just with the left hand. But well, he's so defenseless here, too. Mm-hmm. Here it is. He's hurt, he's hurt. Right there, look. Look at this. Me. Me. Can you get hit with that right, right uh, left hand? Yeah, it looks like, look like you brought that all the way from Illinois. Yeah. And got it in. That's right. Talk of uh, Garza, Pazienza, Camacho. Some people say Camacho is really the fight for you, but uh, w would you really care? I don't care. But you know what? I, I, I do want Benny or Garza because I know they'll brawl. So they, that's what I am. I'm a brawl. I'm a, I'm a, I can box and I can brawl. But I think I'm better at and punching power. Okay, we'll look for you in the future. Louis Lamelli with a victory here tonight. And now back to Bob Pop. Well, he's trying to make hay in a very crowded junior welterweight division. Louis Lamelli comes up with the victory. He knocks out Terry Whitaker in round two. That's